Bye. So I'm just checking in once again because it's Vlogmas Day 5. Hey, wait. Bye. Yeah, it's Vlogmas Day 5. Oh my gosh, I've filmed this video like four times already. And there's something really specific that I wanted to talk about today. And it's not the thing that I had been talking about. And so I'm so glad I figured that out because I'm, I really wanted to talk about this thing. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so glad that I figured that you out. See, oh my god. Are you happy I'm a minor annoyance now? Yeah. No, because you guys, I was, because today is the only day that me. I can talk about this thing. Okay, so it's the 5th of the month. And you guys uh, know what that means? Uh, thank me. Thank you, Doug. You guys know what that means? No, you don't know what that means. But I'm going to tell you what that means. The fifth of the month is me and Jeff's... I think our parents are home. <laughs> I was kind of random. You're just like... Like, do you hear them? No, Anna, I didn't hear anything. Oh, wait, that's the day. Yeah. Okay. So the fifth of the month is me and Jeff's, like, one month. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five month. Yeah, you're um, right. And so... Today is our fourth month together, and um, it's officially, like, today is our fourth month, and that is significant because this is officially my longest relationship ever. Um, yeah, you my guys have been together a while, have you? only other four-month relationship, it lasted four months, and it was the, with this guy, Miles, and that's basically what this video is going to be about because it's this funny story. Um, I was in seventh grade, funny and story. it was, like, the end of seventh grade, like, I think we broke up in May. Um... And right before uh, the move, he was um he was this blonde kid and he was really awkward. But um he had super soft hair. And when I was in seventh grade, uh, me and my friend Vera, who we're still really good friends, but she lives in California. I used to live in California, by the way. Now I live in Oregon. And remember um, how gross study used to go? Do you guys whenever you guys kiss? Um. Uh, started talking to him and this kid is super awkward and so we didn't talk much back and we would just be like can we touch your hair can we touch your hair and so then we would um, and so then time went on and I developed a crush on this guy and because um, you know he was really he was really cute and he had blonde hair and he was an 8th grader and he was older than me and I was like oh and um, so then there was this one Thursday night and I was like late for gymnastics and it was after play practice and I need to get my move on but my ex-boyfriend and my friend Rosie were like working on something and they were like asking if he liked me and it was very like seventh, eighth grade. Um, <laughs> and they were like setting us up. And so then we got together like that afternoon and basically how it went down was um, we were by this pole, right? <laughs> and and at, at our school. And I won't notice anything dirty. And he was like, um, so do you want to go out? No, no, that's not even how he said it. Um, so Rosie and Tom were there. And I was just like standing there expectantly, like all giggly. And, and he was like, and he wasn't saying anything so he was like nervous or whatever because he's really, really awkward. Like I cannot emphasize enough Wait a how minute. awkward this kid was. Your ex-boyfriend who? Miles. Oh. No, wait. No, 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 no. You said somebody else and your ex-boyfriend. Tom. Oh. You dated Tom before you dated Miles? Yeah. Oh. I dated Tom at the beginning of sixth, seventh grade. Ah. Uh, <laughs> right um, at the beginning? Yeah. Well, Me and Tom like dated for six through. days. It was not a real relationship. What? It was like midway through. Mm, it was a couple months in. Okay. And then Miles was towards the end. But it was four months, so it was kind of a long time. But, um. And so... I was like standing there, you know, all expectedly, and and Tom was like whispering into Miles' ear, like just tell her, just tell her, and and so then all he said was yes, and we all kind of knew what that meant, and so then I went behind, um, like into the front of the school, but it was like he couldn't see me anymore. Like I went behind this building, and then I was in the front of the school like, where people pick up, and I like screamed because I was all like happy. <laughs> I guess, um, and I like was not in control of my emotions back then. I was a really awkward middle schooler too, just so you know. But I was like differently awkward. And I was like talk a lot awkward, and he was like never talks awkward. Yeah. And you're still really awkward. I know. Um. So then, uh, we were like together or whatever, and I like left. And I distinctly remember as I was riding my bike from school to gymnastics. I used to be a gymnast. Um. Like saying my first name with his last name, like really creepy stuff. I was creepy. Um, and you still are. No, I'm not. And so yeah. then that lasted for four months. 
And I think our first kiss was like a week after we got together. Um, it was a bad and relationship. We didn't really talk that often. Like I remember maybe a month or two into the relationship coming home and telling my mom, hey, guess what? Me and Miles had our first conversation and it was about my math teacher. Like we just didn't talk very much because he was so awkward and there was just like nothing to talk to him about like we'd be like hi and if we were in like a group it was okay because like i would be in the conversation and he could just like chill or if we were like with his friends like they could be having a conversation and he could be like kind of part of it and i could be just like standing there like I have oh hey question. what's up how do you develop a crush on a guy who's so awkward and barely talk he had really soft hair come here Um, so... You deserve another one for that. So... I hope those hurt. Yeah. Then that lasted for four months, and I'm not really sure how. And I remember how he broke up with me very distinctly. So we were just walking, you know... He broke up with you now? Yeah. We were just oh! Walking. We were just walking from, like, a class or something. I think we had, like, one class together, and it was PE, because seventh and eighth graders could have PE together. And we were walking from that together, and then him and all of his friends go into the bathroom. And you know something bad is going on if guys all go into the bathroom together, because it never happens. Um, either something bad or something weird. What? All go into the bathroom together. Yeah. And um, so then I was like, okay. And I went and hung out with my friend, Steffi. And um, then Dimitri, Miles' really good friend, pulled me aside and told me that Miles was breaking up with me. So Miles couldn't even do it. The extent of our not talking went even to our breakup. <laughs> and then I was crushed and heartbroken and I was like a mess for weeks. Um, Over soft hair. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe this. It was my first major breakup! It wasn't even a major relationship. Um, and then, so yeah, that was that. Um, my relationship with Jeff is much different. Yes! I'm much less awkward now, and me and Jeff talk to you. Nope, lot. you're still pretty awkward. I don't know, I don't think I'm so awkward. Um, so yeah, I just You'd wanted to wrong, tell you guys yeah. that story, because I think it's funny. Um, and tell you guys that I'm really happy that I'm in the relationship that I'm in right now. You know now. what's really funny, actually? Everybody thought it was like a huge, serious thing. Me and Miles. Even I did. <laughs> you see, nowadays I'm just I'm just like I don't care at all. <laughs> like me and Miles were like I, the item. Yeah. I and think me and, me, me and Warren and you and and you and Miles were like the item. Um, but yeah, me and Jeff have been together for four months. Nobody thought that we were gonna last. Like I don't think, cause we're both kind of like not the kind of people. Who and you last. didn't. And you didn't. But I want to show you guys my dress because me and my whole youth group got it and it's from H&M and it was only $18 and it's super cute and it looks good on my whole youth group and we have very different body types and it's very cute. Hi, Mommy. Welcome back. <laughs> Hi, Mommy. And I really like it. Yes, she can. <laughs> so this is the dress. So? Yay. I'm here. It's like this floral print, as you can see. Maybe if I move where I should be. Yeah, it's like a floral dress. And ah! <laughs> you just ah! tripped over our dog. And yeah, so um, before I leave, I want to give Her. a quick, quick shout out to um, it's tea time. <laughs> Stop. To uh, or cup of tea actually. Her Twitter is it's tea time. Her oh, name is Tia, Tia, and she's my really good friend. Um, actually, I wouldn't Stop. do that. But <laughs> I don't know her that well. But I would like. Mom, I can't hear you. Your daughter's talking too loud. That she's like one of the. I told her that she's like one of the coolest people in the whole wide world. And um, she's an amazing I'm singer coming, and she makes singing coming, videos on YouTube. Coming. And she has like 7,000 subscribers or something, so she totally doesn't need my shout out. But I'm giving it to you anyway. My house is getting really crazy, so I'm gonna go, bye!